Hi, I'm Fiona King Foster. I'm a writer in Toronto. My first novel, The Captive, was published in January of this year. I'm also an alumnus of Frontier College, where I worked for almost 10 years. Um, and I'm a big fan of the work that Frontier College does for literacy in Canada. And I'm really proud to be part of the Giller Light Bash this year. I get to defend Miriam Taves' new book, Fight Night. Um, it's fantastic. You should read it. Uh, it's Miriam Taves' ninth book. Uh, Miriam Taves is a best-selling author. She, her last two books have been optioned for film. She's uh, much beloved in Canada and abroad. And she is, in my opinion, the best popular novelist working in Canada right now. Very sincere in supporting this book for the Giller. Um, Fight Night is about Swiv, a nine-year-old narrator who is telling us the story of her days at home with her grandmother, Elvira. Swiv has been kicked out of school for fighting. It's the first of many times that fighting will be returned to as a theme. And uh, her father has left. Her mother is an actor who's uh, pregnant and busy rehearsing a new play. And Swiv is at home with her elderly grandmother. Um, being homeschooled in theory, although what she learns from Elvira has uh, very little to do with schoolwork and a lot more to do with life and uh, enduring grief and um, kind of learning to be a human in the world, which um, Swib needs some help with because she's, she's anxious and she's a bit lost uh, and she needs exactly this kind of role model. So really the book is, it's the, the tale of Swib and Elvira um, and how they kind of move chaotically through this, this life of theirs together. Um, if you've read Miriam Taves' earlier books, uh, particularly A Complicated Kindness and All My Puny Sorrows, you'll know that she returns to um, characters and themes that are very close to her own life. Um, we'll often find a, a character that resembles her mother. And in this case, in Fight Night, um, she's a, given the character her actual mother's name is Elvira, so it's even closer. Um, she touches on the same themes often of uh, religious repression. She grew up in a, in a Mennonite community in Manitoba that she has written a lot about and talked a lot about. Um, she also has endured twice in her immediate family uh, the suicide of a, a close loved one, and, and that shows up in this book again with um, Swift's aunt and grandfather both having taken their own lives. Um, so it's, it's once again for Taves uh, wrestling with really serious and painful themes, but with a lightness of touch um, and a humor that is almost astonishing. I, I think it must just flow naturally from her uh, as a writer because it, it runs through all of her work, this kind of um, irreverent wit and, um, and a, a voice that's just so warm and um, loving that you can go with her to these, these really difficult places um, that her characters experience and yet feel uplifted. And this book is even more so, I think um, it feels, this book feels a little bit like a love letter to Miriam Taves' readers in that um, she knows what she's good at. She knows what people appreciate about her. And in this book, compared to some of the earlier books, um, there's, there's more of the warmth and more of the humor and an emphasis on that lightness that I think I can only assume is intentional um, at a time when readers could really use that kind of uplift. So um, Fight Night is it's a romp of a nine-year-old girl and an elderly woman uh, they go to California at one point, they attempt to drive a car that neither of them really can, knows how to drive. Hilarious scene, many scenes of hilarity and um, hijinks and, uh, and love. It's a very, it's a story of a, what seems like a dysfunctional family, um, except that there is uh, an, an underlying structure of, uh, of, of love and solidarity between them. Um, so that's it. Fight night. It's about, um, fighting through 
hard stuff and coming out the other side, it's, you will laugh out loud, uh, you will cry. It's a great book. Miriam Taves is a great writer and uh, I congratulate her on this book.